Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression? So we have 5 over 2 and its whole power is 2 over 5. We write this into the simplified form by using the radical as well as the exponential laws. So here the very first step we are going to do is first uh, uh, we break its uh, fraction, its break its exponent. This is 2 over 5 and we write it as 5 over 2 and its exponent is 2 and its whole exponent is 1 over 5 because you have this is 2 over 5 we uh, we move this 2 inside uh, this term and we move 1 over 5 to the outside by uh, applying the nice exponential law you know about this law if we have a to the power of m to the power of n uh, then uh, you just uh, write this as in the form of a to the power of m times of n so here we write this type of terms in this way okay so uh, according uh, to uh, this law we write this term and now after that we have uh, another exponential law so that uh, uh, here you see that 5 over 2 and its whole exponent is 2 so here we apply this law so we have a over b to the power of m it is equals to a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m so now here we separate these two on both of these terms and it will be written as 5 squared divided by 2 squared and its whole power 1 over 5 okay so now after this step uh, we have uh, we write this 5 square as 25 and we write this 2 square as 4 and its whole exponent is 1 over 5 and after that uh, we have another ex uh, another uh, radical law so here you know that if you have a over b and its whole power 1 over n then we write this exponential form into the radical form in this way a over b and its nth root okay so we write this fifth root of 25 over 4 uh, into the radical form so we write it as a fifth root of 25 over 4 okay so further uh, you see here we uh, use a radical law so according to the radical law here we use this radical law if you have nth root of a over b so we write this nth root on separately on both of these terms in this way this is nth root of a divided by nth root of b okay so according to this we break this uh, uh, this radical sign so that we write it as a, a fifth root of 25 divided by uh, the fifth root of 4 okay so further uh, we use here another radical law so you know that if we have nth root of a divided by nth root of b so that we multiply this term by b to the power of n minus 1 into nth root divided by b to the power of n minus 1 into nth root so we apply here uh, this nice radical law so that according to this law uh, here uh, we multiply and divide this term by 4 to the power of 5 minus 1 into fifth root and we divide it by 4 to the power of 5 minus 1 into fifth root okay so further uh, we need some simplifications here and we have fifth root of 25 is multiplied by 4 to the power of 4 and its fifth root divided by 4 to the power uh, fifth root of 4 multiplied by fifth root of 4 to the power of 4 okay so further uh, we use here and other radical law if we have nth root of a multiplied by nth root of b so this is equals to nth root of a and b okay 
so uh, it means uh, if we have uh, the same root and the different basis so that we combine its roots so that we write it as here you see that we have fifth root of 25 and fifth root of 4 we combine these both of these two terms and it will be written as fifth root of 25 is multiplied by 4 to the power of 4 divided by here we again combine the fifth root and it is written as 4 is multiplied by 4 to the power of 4 okay so further we focus on the denominator and in the denominator you see here bases are these two bases are same so that we add its exponents and it will be written as a fifth root of 25 multiplied by 4 to the power of 4 divided by fifth root of 4 to the power of 4 okay so further uh, we use here uh, another radical law so that uh, uh, according to this radical law we uh, have if you have nth root of a to the power of n so these are cancelled by each other and we get a so we use here this nice radical law on the denominator term so here this 5 is cancelled out by this 5 and we get the remaining terms are 25 multiplied by 4 to the power of 4 uh, and fifth root and it is divided by 4 and now here we again apply the radical law so here we apply this fifth root on both of these terms separately and it will be written as 25 and it's a fifth root uh, and into we have 4 to the power of 4 and it's a fifth root divided by 4 and its exponent is 1 so here we write this term into the exponential form so that uh, we write it as in this form fifth root of 25 multiplied by here you see that basis on both of these terms are same so that we subtract its exponents and it will be written as 4 to the power of 4 over 5 minus 1 and now uh, after this step we have fifth root of 25 is multiplied by 4 to the power of uh, when you take the LCM of this term then you get here 4 to the power of minus 1 over 5 okay so further uh, uh, in order to make simplification now we multiply and divide this term by 2 okay so we divide multiply and divide by 2 on upside as well as the downside so that uh, we have this is 25 uh, and its fifth root multiplied by we write this 4 as a 2 uh, squared and its whole power minus 1 over 5 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1 and divided by 2 to the power of 1 so further you see here uh, basis on both of these terms are same so that we add its exponents and it will be written as the fifth root of 25 multiplied by 2 to the power of minus 2 over 5 plus 1 and it is divided by 2 to the power of 1 okay so that uh, here we when you take the LCM of this term then you get here fifth root of 25 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 uh, divided by 2 and it is uh, divided by 9 so here uh, so this is our 5 3 over 5 and now uh, here we move this 3 inside the term and it will be written as a fifth root of 25 uh, and 2 cubed and its fifth root divided by 2 so that we uh, know that uh, the both have fifth root so we combine the fifth root and it will be written as a fifth root of 25 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 is 8 and it is divided by 2 so we have 25 times of 8 becomes 200 and it's a fifth root and it is divided by 2 so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.